school, elementary school, and the teachers. Isn't that great? Yeah, and uh, we were instrumental in getting uh, Sh Chautauqua put into the Stephen G. Mahala Foundation. Really? And so last year, the Renaissance Society gave their first Stephen G. Mahala Foundation scholarship to Chautauqua, and we're very, ah, very proud of that. So That's great. So we'll have we ongoing should. there. So we give a, a great deal of our money goes into Mahala Foundation. Yes. Because those dollars are matched That's by right. Stephen. So it's, it, it stretches everybody's yeah. dollars. So. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that Stephen matches. He matches. Everything the foundation raises up here, right. Stephen matches. He's a graduate of Big Bear High School. He is indeed. Very successful yes. uh, entrepreneur. Mm -hmm and uh, is giving back to the community where right. he grew up. Right, and that's that's one of the reasons we chose to put our major portion of our dollars each year into the Stephen G. Mahala Foundation because um, he does match it and it stretches those dollars and gives back so much to our kids. I know it does. And we are always looking for volunteers. Oh, I so. know it. They would call you. What's your office? It's 585-7825. Uh, 585 585-7825. 7825. Thanks. Thank you. Linda McGinnis, everybody. Now look at this Highlander costume. This is so neat. Oh, man. You just love the Renaissance. They're all dressed in these Elizabethan. And I, we've got Queen Elizabeth. I'm going to chat with her in a minute. Look at that. And more pirates. Look at the pirates. Quick to the time, bandits. Time will go forth, and we will get hold of Lord and bring you down here. Oh, brother. <laughs> what an actor. I haven't had any rum yet. Oh, that's not true. I've been to the big house. Probably Rich. good. Richard Milner. Hey, you pirate, sir. So here's some more fancy maidens. Beautiful. Well, you don't fool around with her. She's got a pistola right there. Man. Well, this costume is fit for a queen. And we do have the queen. Queen Elizabeth. Hello, your majesty. Well met, my good sir. Oh, man. This is your third year. Indeed it is. With the uh, Renaissance Fair. And you stroll around with your court and greet all of the peasants Indeed and people I do. coming in. We have a procession and we walk about the Shire. I get to go on shopping excursions, escorted, of course. Right. <laughs> that is so neat. Elena Peavy, everybody. I mean, it, we, you're so well known. I don't even have to introduce you. But you are so good at being Queen Elizabeth that we just expect it. And that is your job forever. You are too kind, my good <laughs> I, I don't know who else could be queen. <laughs> it is my pleasure to be queen. I know. It. Actually, it is a wonderful opportunity to do positive PR, I think. I for think so. For being and for our kids. Sure. I think our fair is a little bit different. I was just explaining to some gentlemen who were unfamiliar with it that our fair really is a family affair. Uh -huh. And we, there is an NC-17 stage, however, I will make that disclaimer, but that means you abide by that. That's right. And there are some, it's nothing terrible, but there's It's like an R-rated, I mean, well, no, it's not R-rated, it's 17, yes. but you abide by the ratings. Indeed. And it's you know, a, Shakespeare's time was quite body, actually. Oh, yes. If you read all of Shakespeare's plays, which I have as an English liner and as a former English teacher, uh, I can tell you that there are a lot of double entendre, shall we say, oh, yes. in his words. So, uh, but in general, it's a family affair with wonderful vendors and games and entertainment for everyone. And it's in such a beautiful setting, setting out there in the it? trees. And you really feel like you've gone back to a different time. I know And I it. love that. I've been reading quite a bit over the years on Queen Elizabeth, and she was quite an amazing woman. I, for her time. Right. Unbelievable. Many, many attempts against her life. It was really? a miracle that she ever made it to the throne and that England flourished under her rule. It was a golden age during her time. Now, how old was she when she, when she died? 
Well, she, she or, moved to a fairly good old age. I can't remember the exact age. But she was age. up but in she, age. She didn't die yet. She was a senior. No. She was a senior, <laughs> yes. I, I think she would have gotten a senior discount. <laughs> she got her Social Security. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, yeah. Let's Now let's get away from the Renaissance Fair for a minute because you and Ron just returned from an amazing journey. Indeed we did. Tell us about it. Ron, my head is still spinning. We just got back about 1 o'clock this morning from the Gulf Coast. We were in uh, Pass Christian, is how they say it. It looks like Pass Christian, but it's pronounced Pass Christian. It's a very small town between New Orleans and Biloxi, Mississippi. They're on the Gulf Coast. Uh -huh. And we traveled the entire Gulf Coast, and we did spend some time in New Orleans. But I'm telling you that the devastation which still exists a year from later. Katrina, almost a year later, yes. nine months later, is unimaginable. Entire, an entire hotel was moved off its foundation into the middle of the highway. Things which existed are simply no longer there. People are struggling to come back. What you see are rows and rows of white FEMA-provided trailers on the absolute ruins of homes. Oh. Some of them beautiful historical mansions. They lost the Jefferson Davis Library. Things that are irreplaceable sure. to the country and to individuals. And the people there are trying, and they're very upbeat, and they're so happy to have people 